Hello viewers, my name is Dr. Pankaj Jariwala. I am an international cardiologist and pulmonary hypertension specialist and heart failure specialist. I am going to talk today about pulmonary arterial hypertension. Uh, pulmonary hypertension means elevation of blood pressure inside the arteries which supplies the lung. And usually there are many causes are there and basically there are five different types of groups of pulmonary arterial hypertension. And uh, this kind of uh, pulmonary artery hypertension happens because of the narrowing of the blood vessels uh, which supplies the lungs or there can be blockages in the blood vessels or there can be destructions of the blood vessels. So there are various diseases are there and uh, this condition exactly uh, many of the times is not known why it happens what we call it as a idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension and uh, uh, as such this pulmonary arterial hypertension exact how many people are getting affected in our country is not known but uh, in uh, united states and in european country it is almost like 10 persons per uh, million population this uh, disease affects them and in India, we do not have exact statistics available. Uh, but once this disease is diagnosed within two to three years, uh, the patient, they have a very uh, downfall and uh, many of them within five years, almost 50 to 60 percent people, they die suddenly. And usually the symptoms in these uh, patients are basically may have breathlessness while uh, walking. They can have sudden fainting, uh, loss of consciousness or they can have chest pain or palpitations. Sometimes when patient disease is not recognized, the right side of the heart fails and there can be a swelling of the lower limbs uh, of the body and uh, what we call it as a heart failure. So there can be various presentations, but the good thing is that uh, people should not be worried about it and they should diagnose it immediately and there are various medications are available these days, various uh, before the problem is in this pulmonary arterial hypertension, there is no much medicines were available, but nowadays we have uh, specific medicines are available and because of medications if we start them early diagnose them early patients can have benefit and uh, early diagnosis is the key and whenever doctor says that medicines to be given it has to be given there is a definitely a role of vaccine also is there because these patients they are prone for various lung infections so like influenza vaccine and uh, uh, other vaccines if we give then chances of recurrent infection is avoided and the diagnosis is very simple you just suspect it that is the job of a, a cardiologist and we subject them for a simple echocardiography that is a 2d echo what we call it as so ecg 2d echo chest x-ray ct scan ct lungs ct scan uh, all these tests uh, we do and we make the diagnosis that patient is suffering with the uh, pulmonary arterial hypertension and once the diagnosis is made we need to find out what is the etiology of pulmonary arterial hypertension as i said in the beginning there are five different groups of pulmonary arterial hypertensions are there so we try to keep the patient in one of the group which he belongs and depending upon the treatment varies and usually the group one pulmonary arterial hypertension uh, the treatment is through the medications and uh, Usually patient they do very well on the medications. We have triple drugs available in the market now. And when we give three drugs to the patient, particularly in those who are high risk candidates, uh, they do very well and their life uh, becomes us without much problem. And they have to come to the physicians on regular basis. Checkups has to be done. And if they follow the regime, what we have given to the patient, they do very well. So I think uh, pulmonary hypertension is uh, not the uh, hopeless disease nowadays. It is a quite hopeful problem and consult your doctor for your early diagnosis and treatment. Thank you very much.